welcome to Leo Pajo. It's Coco here today. How are you guys? Today, we are going to make another tassel jewelry. Yes, you heard it right. Not because I just love tassel jewelry, but because I received few emails. And first and foremost, I would like to thank you guys for your appreciation. And I will try my level best to keep up your expectations. Secondly, uh, some of you wanted to know how to make tassels from scratch. So here it is, not just one, but two kinds of tassels coming up for you. While I was preparing those tassels, I thought might as well make a jewelry out of it. So here it is, a beautiful tri-layered tassel necklace for you guys. But before we move on to the tutorial, there is an announcement. Next week is going to be a giveaway. Woohoo! And we have this amazing hamper ready with beautiful things in it. So if you want to receive that, if you want to be a winner, you have to go to my channel, Leo Pajo, subscribe like, comment, and check out the description box for rest of the details. Now, moving on to the tutorial, if you want to know how I made this, then keep on watching. You'll need two different color thread spools, matching leather pieces, and a different one for the centerpiece. Three types of chains of different lengths, beads, jump rings, clasps, jewelry wire, scissors, pliers, scale, fabric quick, and a strong glue that works on leather. Now, start by wrapping the thread around your hand. Give it a few rounds till you have a bunch in your hand. Cut it from both sides and fold it from the center to give it its basic shape. Take a piece of jewelry wire and place it in the center of the folded threads and give it a few twists around it. Fix it by making a loop with the help of a plier and twisting the rest of the wire around it to lock it in place. Make sure not to hurt yourself while doing this. Cut extra and press down the ends of the wire. That's it with the metal work. Now take the thread and start wrapping it around the top of the tassel. Cut and glue the thread in its place. Now cut the ends to make them equal and your tassel is ready. For the second type of tassel, take a piece of leather and turn it upside down. Draw and cut a rectangle of about 10 by 2 cm. Again draw a line at about half a cm from the top. Taking this line as a guideline, cut down the fringes. Glue the uncut area using an adhesive for leather. Now take a piece of jewelry wire and place it on one end of the leather strip. Start wrapping the leather strip around the wire. Now like previous tassel, fold the wire into a loop with the help of a plier and twist the rest of the wire around its neck. Cut extra, press down and you're done. Make a few of both styles and let's make a necklace. Place down three types of chains in an order. Take a jump ring and entangle three chains of one side into it along with an adjustable chain for some extra length and fix it in place with the help of a plier. Repeat the same steps on the other side, just replacing the adjustable chain with a necklace clasp. Fasten the necklace and start arranging your tassels in a manner you like. Take some more jump rings, open them, entangle the tassel to it and fix it in the chain. Repeat the same steps all the way from end to end. Now take some pearl beads, my favorite, if you watch my videos you'll know by now. Repeat the same steps on the second chain with pearl beads this time. Now taking a cut glass drop bead, fixing it as a pendant on the last chain and you're done with the necklace. What say? Liked it? If you make this at home, do not forget to take pictures and put it up on your Instagram with hashtag LeoPajo and I would love to feature my favorites in our page. Also, do not forget to check out the description box down below for the details of giveaway next week. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye!